Hey friends, welcome back to another one of my videos. This is an intense seven hour all day clean with me. My house was messy all around and I was super motivated to get up and get moving and get it all done today. So get ready with me, put me on your screen, your tablet, your phone, and let's clean. We can do this together. I know you're feeling overwhelmed and you probably have a lot on your to-do list, but we can get this done. I'm going to be also sharing with you a game changing cleaning hack that you do not want to miss. I'm going to be cleaning all of the rooms in my house. So let's get ready and let's get it done. I was getting all of this cleaning done for Thanksgiving. It is almost the weekend before Thanksgiving. I took the day off, I woke up, and after I got my girls taken care of and we fed, we played, it was around 9 a.m. and I had planned on literally cleaning the whole day. We are hosting Thanksgiving at our house. So what I like to do the weekend before, or in this case, it's the Friday before Thanksgiving, is pretty much spend the whole day just doing a lot of cleaning so then the day before Thanksgiving I basically just have to do a quick wipe down of surfaces in the bathrooms and the kitchen and I'm ready to go. The goal is just to do the minimum the day before because there's already so much to do for Thanksgiving so I got up after I got my girls settled down for their morning nap I got moving and I was going to have help in the afternoon my mother-in-law was going to come over and take the girls and watch them while I was able to get all of this cleaning done for Thanksgiving so I was going to be breaking my cleaning up into sessions I had a morning session a huge afternoon session and then I was going to finish up later on after the girls went to bed and my goal was to pretty much get as much as I could done in the afternoon session because when my girls came home shortly before dinner I wanted to be able to hang out with them so I was motivated I had planned on organizing deep cleaning cl cleaning literally all over my house so I woke up ready to go I'm also really excited to share with you a game changing cleaning hack that will make cleaning your house so much easier. I'm going to show you how to clean an area in your home that everyone dreads and that's a pain, but this method and product will make it much easier. I'm also going to be sharing a yummy four ingredient Italian chicken crock pot recipe later on in the video. So make sure you stick around. I started upstairs in our room first because I wanted to make our bed and kind of set the tone for the rest of the day. And then I had continued on in our bedroom cleaning it, but then I was gonna go back downstairs and clean the kitchen and the living room after I did our bedroom, and then I was gonna come back upstairs and finish. If you guys are just stumbling upon my channel, thank you so much for checking this video out. I hope that you will feel motivated and inspired, and I hope that you will think about subscribing and joining me here on my channel. I make two videos every single week, and one is definitely a cleaning video, so a lot of cleaning, organizing, decluttering, a lot of motivation. I would love to have you join my journey, so think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell, and if you're new, say hi in the comment section. Section. tell me something about yourself and if you are one of my loyal subscribers thank you for coming back and make sure you say hi I truly enjoy talking to you all I have a playlist if you want to get to know me a little bit better I will have that linked down below it has the twins birth vlog and some of my other favorite videos and you guys can just get to know me um, I love getting to know you and if you want to get to know me you can check that playlist out do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry Everything's the same We'll try tonight oh, This time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound What a 
tis the season to have a lot of packages delivered to your home. Here are some slipper moccasins I got for Avery for Christmas. I got them from Target and I will try to find a link down below if you want to check them out. And then these are our family pajamas. I've been ordering Christmas dresses. I just can't wait to pull all of our outfits together. I want to kind of get them together, lay them together to see if I'll like them. I don't know. It's kind of stressful for me. I have a family of five this year that I have to try to coordinate. So we'll see if I can pull it off. So stay tuned to see what we wear. So yes, we host Thanksgiving at our house, but I don't want to take all of the credit for hosting because even though we have it at our actual house, we don't make a majority of the food. Thank God, because if you've been a subscriber for a while, you know that I don't enjoy cooking and I am not good at it at all. The only way that I would be able to cook is if I was able to put everything in a crock pot. I'm just being honest. So what actually happens is everyone comes over to our house and we are happy to provide the actual house for Thanksgiving, but my parents do a majority of the cooking. Everyone brings a side dish and I just feel like it's a lot sh less stressful that way. Obviously, some people truly enjoy cooking all of the food and creating the meal for people, but that's just kind of what works for our family, and it's not as stressful. We're happy to have it at our house. My parents are happy to make the main courses, but anyways, it's always fun. We have family coming into town, and my girls will get to see some extended family, so I can't wait. Our dog Reese is shedding like crazy. Can you guys tell? I feel like I should be vacuuming every day, but obviously I don't have time for that. It looks pretty bad and I was really excited to vacuum because I find it really satisfying when I get to see all of the dog hair get vacuumed up. I had planned on doing some cleaning that I do all of the time when I clean my house today. And then I also had planned on doing some more deep cleaning, kind of the things that I don't get a chance to do all of the time when I clean. So I wanted to wipe down the kitchen island, the baseboards, the wall behind the high chairs, the slider door tracking. I also planned on decluttering and organizing the refrigerator and some of the kitchen cupboards that had gotten out of hand. And I just did a deep clean of our refrigerator recently, but I wanted to do another wipe down before Thanksgiving. I just need you to say you won't let go. I will keep my heart wide open. Keep watching for more cleaning, a crockpot meal, and I'm going to be sharing that cleaning hack with you. Since Thanksgiving is just a few days away for us here in the United States, I want to know, do you like pumpkin pie or pecan pie? I personally am all about the pumpkin pie and give me all of the whipped cream. I especially love Cool Whip. Make sure you are subscribed because I have a clean and decorate for Christmas that will be going up here in a few days. I bought so many new beautiful Christmas decorations. I'm so, so, so excited for this video. So many new decorations. I can't wait to share with you. So make sure you're subscribed. It should be up later this week. I just need you to. I'm going to put a cleaning playlist right here. I will also have it linked in the video's description so you can save it to your YouTube account. Put me on your TV or your tablet and we can clean. I can help you get ready for the holidays. You can play it whenever you need some extra cleaning motivation. Again, it will be linked below. To clean my sink, I'm using the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cream Cleanser, and there's also a vinegar gel cleaner that I'll go in with after the baking soda cleanser. 
I love both of them. I get them from Grove Collaborative, which is an online cleaning product website. I also just got the peppermint multi-surface sprays, which you can see there on the back of my sink. I love the peppermint for this time of the year. It's my favorite. They also have an Iowa pine scent. So if you want a free gift set, which you could get everything you see on the back of the sink, the hand soap, multi-surface spray, and soap, and your choice of a scent as a gift, check out my link below. I love Grove Collaborative. I have so many fun videos planned for 2020. I have two family members who are moving and they have requested my organizational and decluttering skills. So I'm gonna be helping them organize pantries and closets. So make for sure you are subscribed, have the notification bell turned on because I have so many fun videos for 2020. I can't wait to share them all with you. Then I moved on to the refrigerator and yes, that is Avery's play kitchen food. No idea why it was in there, but I guess that's what happens when you have a four year old. But I just wanted to get rid of some things that were in here, declutter, organize all of that and wipe everything out in my fridge. And to wipe out my fridge, I used a cleaner I mixed up myself of white distilled vinegar and water. And vinegar is a really good natural cleaner. You can use it all over your house. It's safe to consume. And so that's why I like using it to clean up my fridge. I just feel like it's safer to use around food but I have these organizational bins in my fridge and then also in my freezer and I feel like they help keep my fridge cleaner for longer and they help organize all of the little things especially Avery's foods and snacks I will have the link to those down below I got them from Amazon If you eat turkey, do you like the dark meat or the white meat? I kind of do a mix, but I prefer the white meat. with you guys and I've had a lot of people tell me on recent videos that you like knowing how long it takes me to clean so I just got done with the mor morning portion of my cleaning today so I had my girls this morning and then my mother-in-law came to pick them up so when you saw me cleaning this morning I was doing it during their naps and um, then my mother-in-law came to pick up the girls to hang out with them and to take care of them while I clean for the rest of the afternoon. And the morning portion of just what you saw was about two and a half hours. <laughs> so I have a lot more I need to do. I need to do more in the kitchen, um, more in the living room. I need to organize in the kitchen. I need to go upstairs and do a lot more upstairs, a lot more cleaning. So I have a day full of cleaning ahead of me, but that's okay because that's exactly why I have my whole afternoon free but two and a half hours so far what I did. So I will be updating you throughout the video to kind of let you know how long it's taking me. <laughs> Ultimately, it's gonna be a full day of cleaning. Um, and I'll also show you some clips of the girls later tonight. Um, a lot of you have been asking for more updates on the girls and pictures of them. So if you wanna see my girls, sweet babies. I mean, Avery's cute too, but let's be real here. Seven month old babies are just the sweetest so I will show you the girls later so stick around for that that'll be fun I wanted to organize this cupboard that mainly holds Avery's art supplies papers coloring books 
preschool workbooks etc since she's the one who mainly goes in there it frequently becomes a mess and this probably won't be the last time you see me do this but i feel like it's good for me to go in here from time to time to reorganize label and get rid of junk that accumulates over time and honestly organizing for me is an ongoing thing throughout the year i like to pop in and do little organizational projects like this so it doesn't get overwhelming and so i don't have to spend a lot of time doing it so periodically i will just rotate and organize declutter areas in my home and i feel like that helps keep it all up to date in my house and so my house is as clutter free as possible of course i live in a real house so my house does get cluttered and unorganized but i just try to keep up on it as much as possible By the Okay, so I hadn't planned on organizing this drawer, but I knew it needed to be reorganized. This is kind of another Avery drawer, and I was just kind of in that mode, so I just wanted to keep going and keep organizing. And this drawer holds the girls' winter hats, gloves, so they're easy to grab on our way running out the door. And I pretty much just had to go in here and get rid of a lot of these little things that Avery accumulates, you know, like stuff from Happy Meals, Chick-fil-A meals, those little tiny annoying toys, you know what I mean? That kind of collect that I like to get rid of when she's not around. <laughs> I have big plans to start decluttering and organizing other areas of my house here at the start of the new year and I'm curious for you I asked on my last video that was a big cleaning and organizational video I asked you guys what areas in your house you really want to tackle for 2020 what areas do you really want to get in shape get in order declutter and organize is it a pantry a linen closet a hall closet a whole room your basement question mark let me know down below but i can't wait to get moving and kind of start the new year on an organized and decluttered state
Upstairs, I was pretty much just putting clothes away that hadn't gotten put away from earlier in the week. I feel like these days, the evenings have, have been really crazy. We are lucky to get through a load of laundry completely, so I wasn't able to get it put away, so I wanted to do that. The girls have been really cranky and whiny in the evenings, and we have just been spending our time holding them. Mike takes a baby, I take a baby, and we just kind of go around um, or about our nightly routine. So today I was just going to wipe everything down, put things away, just do the basics. And so the day before Thanksgiving, again, I was going to do a quick wipe down. And um, today I didn't even bother cleaning the toilets because I knew that was something I definitely want to do the day before Thanksgiving in less than a a week and at this point in the day I was just trying to move as quickly as possible so I had to cut corners where I could To wipe down my mirrors in the bathrooms, I'm using an e-cloth, which is a cloth you can clean with just using water. I know it sounds crazy, but you don't need any chemical cleaner. There's a whole science behind it, so you can check that link out to look more into it and check out these e-cloths. I love them. Okay, so I just finished cleaning the hole downstairs and it was took me about another good two hours, maybe two hours and 15 minutes. But what I need to get started now is a crock pot meal. And it's one of our favorites. It's super easy, super simple. It has four ingredients. So simple ingredients, you just throw it in the crock pot and you have an easy, yummy dinner. So these are the ingredients, chicken, Italian, seasoning mix, cream of chicken soup, cream cheese. So pretty simple. I don't wanna be down, looking for a new So it's a rarity that the girls are out of the house when I'm cleaning or really ever because I'm usually home with them when I'm cleaning or my husband is home taking care of them while I clean. So it felt really weird and foreign to not have any kids at home while I was cleaning. But to be honest with you, it was really, really nice because I was able to clean without any distractions. And even when my husband is hanging out with them, he does a wonderful job spending time with them while I clean, but I'm still mom, so I get pulled away from time to time. So it was really nice for my mother-in-law to watch all of them while I got my cleaning done for Thanksgiving. And I'm dying to tell you I am just checking in with you guys and um, it's about 4 45 p.m. and I have literally been cleaning all afternoon I have not sat down at all I have the laundry room to finish and then I should be done other than folding laundry and I'm also gonna show you the crock-pot meal and what it looks like when I finish up with the main cleaning part other than the laundry so stay tuned for the crock-pot meal a little bit more cleaning and I'll show you some babies. You'll see me use a variety of cleaning products in my household, some more natural, some that I have made myself, some are just your normal Clorox wipes, Clorox, and Lysol cleaners. And one of my favorite bathroom cleaners is this Method Foaming Cleanser. I love it so much. It does a really good job. I always keep it in our master bathroom, and it just does a really good job, especially on the shower 
and then I use it on our sink. It's just a really good cleaner in general, and I think because it's foaming, it does a really good job on the shower, which I find that you can't just use any cleaning product on the shower. This dish wand is one of my favorite things to use in the shower. I fill it with Dawn dish soap and vinegar. It does a really good job and I like because it has the scrubber on there. And with our shower, you can obviously see it's enclosed. So if I use anything that has a scent or a strong scent, it can be very overwhelming and too much. So I like using the more natural cleaners in here and there's obviously no scent. So I can get the shower really clean, a deep clean without it smelling and feeling overwhelming while I'm in there. Here is our yummy, creamy Italian chicken meal. It smelled really, really good and it tasted even better. I'll have the recipe linked down below if you want to try it out. Super easy. The next room I popped in to clean was the laundry room and I had just wanted to wipe everything down and I had planned on vacuuming and mopping in here as well. This is where we keep our cat's litter box, which I had already removed, and then our dog food. So I like to go in here and just kind of give it a good deep cleaning, especially the floor every week or other week or so. And this is my shark steam mop that I keep up here on the second floor. Um, I think it does a really good job. I do enjoy it. I like my O-Cedar Spin Mop more than the Steam Mop, but I just like keeping the mop on the second floor because I'm much more likely to mop more frequently if I have the mop that's easily accessible. Now it's time for that cleaning hack. Let's clean the grout in your house. Grout can get really dirty, so try using Resolve Carpet Cleaner. It's so easy to use. You can just kind of spray it in the grout and it's really satisfying to spray it there on the grout and see all of the lines. I let it sit for about 15 minutes and I can go in with a rag and just scrub it and get it all clean and I just like it because the resolve actually does a lot of the work for you while it's sitting there for 15 minutes so you don't have to spend all of this time scrubbing so if you need to clean your grout try it out and give your grout a good cleaning. Hi babes. Hi Emery. <laughs> Hey, can you say hi? Can you say, can you say hi, friends? Mm. 
You go night night, okay? So the babies are finally in bed and Mike is putting Avery to bed. But I'm gonna fold this laundry now and then go to bed. And I will see you guys next time. New to me, the way that you're moving so